you know, I want to talk about something. We don't need feminists anymore. We need equalists. The term feminism has been hijacked by extreme wing party members of both the left and the right, splitting the group down the line. There Now, you can define similar terms, equalist, whatever. There's a whole bunch of other terms that people make up on the internet all the time. But the term feminist, being a feminist, we don't fucking need that anymore. We needed that in the 80s and the 60s, whatever. Yeah, we needed it then, we don't need it now. We <laughs> we don't we definitely don't need fucking feminists and fucking video games. That's for one. Video games should stay out of the social network of things unless if the designers wanted to be in it. They don't force them to change. Um, if they want to create a game that's all about a guy killing fucking a whole bunch of people, you don't need to throw in female protagonists every now and again, or a female army leader, or something stupid like that, unless it's something to do with the game. Like, don't put it in as an afterthought. So, we... <laughs> also, I love how they're only focusing on the U.S. market, even though the Japan market... <laughs> All I gotta say is fucking Japan. Look at Japan. <laughs> I have not seen a single fucking feminist arguing about Japan's market in the United States or even just Japan in general. <laughs> when they're saying that how the U.S., how the gaming market is evil towards women, uh, <coughs> Japan. <coughs> and I love how they don't even talk about that because they already know that they're going to fucking lose that subject with them because they just don't give a shit. Um... <laughs> uh, because it's just Japan, because they're more socially accepting than the United States is. They have freaking Penis Day, like Penis Month over there in April. I know, because my birthday is in April, and I fucking hear that story every single time, like the year comes around. Um, it's Im Imagine if we had something, uh, I think they also have something for boobs and vaginas over there also, but imagine if we had something crazy like that in the United States. Feminists will be protesting it like ape shit. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't agree with feminists at all. No issue whatsoever. I agree with equalism, not feminism. The reason being, feminism, they... I, I always read these articles how saying not all feminists hate men or... Not all feminists only focus on feminist issues, they also focus on men issues. But then why call yourself a feminist? You're not a feminist then at that point. You're an equalist. A feminist always says they're fighting for both genders. No, they're not. They're only fighting for the women's genders because that's who they focus on. That's their main demographic area. They only focus on the women's issues because they think that they're the most pressing. But there's charts after charts of where the they like it's both equal footing like even most cases men's get more raped than females or physically assaulted than females but yet you don't ever hear a feminist saying that and then you hear the modest feminist saying oh but we do we're just not the majority well then don't fucking associate yourself with them anymore they all like i it's like they always say how yeah, well, um their voices are being over, like, overheard or something like that because the other feminists are yelling about it too much. Well, don't be part of that group anymore. Just make up your own group. Be a fucking equalist. You don't hear that every day, how people are fucking, all, like, equalists. Uh, it's because everybody, whenever anybody thinks about feminism, they automatically assume that they hate men. And in most cases, it is true because... You know, because the feminist party has been taken over. <laughs> um, it's like they have literally been hijacked by the crazy people. Like, they are their boys, are these crazy people. Like, the whole Elliot Rogers thing. It's been taken over by those crazy people. You do not hear a feminist that is outspoken against other feminists. You hear other people outside of that group condemning the feminists, not a feminist condemning the other feminists. Or when you do, it's rare and it's not that loud, that voice. That's why you should 
just get rid of your entire idea of being a fucking feminist and just being an equalist. Because the term feminism has changed now. The term, like, them wanting equality is wrong on so many levels. They want special privileges. That's what feminism is today. Special privileges. An equalist wants equal privileges. If a, if a man hits a woman, the woman hits a man. If the woman hits a man, the man could hit a woman. Like, that's, in a broad sense, equalism. <laughs> like, they will both get prosecuted, like, they like equally prosecuting, not heavily towards a man in all cases. It will be equal. If they both get drunk, it will be equal responsibility. How come when the girl is drunk and the guy is drunk, the guy gets blamed? I never understood that. In that sense of logic, the woman's mind is less frail. It's like more frail. It's more fragile. It needs to be protected. It's like an eggshell. But the guy's head is like a coconut's head. It's more, it's like, more harder. It's like, according to them, <laughs> like this logic alone is saying that men are better. And in some cases, it's true. But in a lot of cases, we are equal. Now, I know it's, I seem to be contradicting myself a bit, but I'm really not. The simple premise is, if you're a moderate feminist, get the fuck out of that group. Don't consider yourself a feminist anymore. Leave that group and never look back. Don't say I was once a feminist, just call yourself a fucking equalist and be done with it. If, if you are one of those people who are like, yes, it is unfair about custody laws, but we shouldn't be focusing about that. No. Don't con and then consider yourself a feminist because you don't fucking care about being equal. If you want equal, the the husband should have all the right for their kids. And if you're a feminist who agrees with that, you should become an equalist. But it's just like extremely stupid thinking that feminism is needed today. It might be needed in some countries like in fucking Iran and and Pakistan and other countries like that. Sure. Go fucking move out of the country. Go start a revolution over there. Get the fuck out. Nobody needs you over here anymore. Seriously, nobody fucking needs you in the United States anymore. There might be some weird cases you could point out, but everybody, every place has a few fucking crazies. So, we don't need you in the United States anymore. You could stop your social warrior shit. It, it's not needed. It, in, on the whole, it really isn't needed. If the woman is making less than a guy, she could sue. If the woman gets hit or something, she could sue. If the woman gets raped, she could sue. Yada, yada, yada. We don't need feminists anymore. We need equalism. We need it to be actually equal. We need the same prosecution for the guys and the girls. No more of this, oh, but she's a mom and... She, so, it's like she could immediate custody of the kids. No, that's, you shouldn't be immediate. Like, automatically assume. Or when the mom murders uh, her kids, we should feel sympathy for her. No, she's a fucking murderer. She deserves a maximum. Just like if, a, if the husband was to murder the kids. And not even, to, don't even get me started on fucking rape and shit. And then you have a bunch of feminists that... Um, have sympathy for the woman in a lot of cases. It's just, if you actually want true equality, where if you as a woman hits a guy, the guy has a right to hit you back, or in actual cases that make sense, like in custody battles and stuff like that, and alimony payments, like if you don't want the prices to be ridiculously high where the guy is bankrupt and out of a home, and he still has to pay. Like, that shit don't stand for that. Like, in all honesty, what are you even doing in the fucking feminist group then? Feminism is not needed. Get the fuck out.